Welcome to the Korean Report, a.k.a. Mr. 100 Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. I want to talk about this old block situation. Old block Dookie um, getting um, ran down on through his peoples. I've seen a couple interviews. He said, uh, you know, he'd been backdoor. He'd been sneak with the friends of his, people on his videos, people from that block. Um, I just want to give my point on this, right? It it makes it, th this is the, the problem that is going to be, man. The biggest rapper, the biggest drill rapper there is in history, the king. It's, it's no debate in that. The king of drill, Chief Keith. Chief Keith, all eyes on him nationwide. Chief Keith come from O Block. Keith, Chief Keith from O Block. All of his videos he had and took guys with him on trips and it was with guys. And the same situation happened to him where he'd been, you know, robbed allegedly. Where it, I'm saying allegedly to protect myself, but everybody know the story. Um, but he supposedly wasn't there. They ran and broke into his house and took his shit and did all this stuff there. And the sneak dissing, they going back and forth with him. Now, like I said, Chief Keith put Old Block and Chicago on the map worldwide. I'm an older guy. I know all about it. And so I can imagine young kids who this stuff may have a real influence with. Like guys who, who probably was like 12 years old around that time when Chief Keith came out. And now they're making music. So I say that to say this, and it happened again. It makes that block look bad. Vaughn brought that Keith put the light on Old Block. King Vaughn brought that spark back in it. Where Old Block was popping, Chief Keith leaves, go through where he went through with Vaughn. Vaughn brought it back and made it got that look where from the outside looking in, we all look at Old Block like yo, them dudes stick together, they have fun, they like brothers, they seem like you know. They protect each other, like they love each other. It seems like all love with the the guys that that's with them. Like everybody from Old Block is like it's love. They have a lot of fun. Yes, it is inside of, um some gates where you they was able to to do that. But outside looking in, it it changed. It, Vaughn brought it to a, a level where you know. People have to get, actually get to see it, like you know what I mean. And so, we all looking at that, like I said. And he, the way we view O Block is, people go out there take pictures. You know, he brought that O Block back to life. So now, we start seeing now Vaughn dies, get killed. Now we seeing what we seeing. We seeing guys. We saw one guy and another guy fight and people consider that back door, someone got killed. Now in this situation, it comes off as jealousy. This this situation, Chief Key's situation is very similar. This guy, Durkey, has got signed. He said he just started rapping over a year ago and got signed. And a lot of them guys been rapping and it's feel like they they taking advantage of him because maybe he's not like a super savage, the type of guy that's on it like that. Maybe he's not that type of guy. Um, Jay Hood, he's from over there. He said that guy is not like that. To me, I don't judge nobody. Listen to him talk, and then actually what they did to him. I, and, and then how everybody was quick to be like, yo, I don't have nothing to do with it. And, and for them to even try him like that, it, it makes you think that maybe he he's not like that. Not saying he won't do nothing. When I mean somebody not like that, I mean actually someone who probably put in a lot of work and, and people, you know, wouldn't chance, wouldn't do that to. Not saying that he wouldn't, wouldn't do nothing. Not saying that he won't. You know, do it when it, when the opportunity comes. We don't know that, but what I'm saying is, is, is it was wrong. It's out of pocket. Um, 
them guys did. They 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 realized they just destroyed the legacy. A lot of people from the outside don't like what happened. Now we all, even though I'm like I said, I'm older, you know, and and you know, I still listen to the music and stuff like that. But a lot of guys throughout Chicago and throughout the United States seeing that. Nobody liked that. It looks corny. It looked like they desperate saw the man get on like he didn't give them some money so they, they flipped on him and did that and then embarrassed him. So now, to be honest, I think, this is my personal opinion, I think it's it destroying his career too because now the gun shit, unless he don't rap. See, I don't know much about him. I saw him in a couple of interviews. Even I saw him the first time I seen him an interview, I think Cam Capone interviewed right before, I mean, like, you know, a few months ago. That's the first time, like, Durkey. Like, damn, that right there, Little Dirk, that name was close, and they both from Chicago. I said, damn, that looks kind of odd. I think I would have probably changed my name some, but I remember saying that when I first heard of this guy. But anyway, rhyming that killer shit, and the way how that shit went down on him, I and then he jumps on the interview and said, I asked this guy, I talked to them, nobody, I told him to get my chain back. By him asking, I think that's the mistake he made, saying he asked and went publicly and said, I asked for my chain back. I'm going to some dudes and nobody want to help me get my chain. I would have never did that. I would have never did that. What he should have did, he would kept quiet, even if he want an interview and said, yo, these dudes snake me for my chain. Yeah, it came and stood on some business a little more thoroughness. If he'd have handled it a little better, but by him, yeah, I want the, him to get my chain back. I want the, a lot of people to see if, you know, they get my chain back. That I would have not did. That's the mistake he made because now it shows a sign of weakness that you asked him to get your chain back. Like, you know, we all know things happen. Dudes got down on you if they pulled them things out. And they got down, however they got down on you. I don't know how they got down on you. But, you know, we understand that. Same thing, like, see, the reason why Chief Keef's situation ain't wasn't bad and everybody went against They said they robbed Chief Keef's house. He wasn't there. You know, they broke into his house. So it's like a thing with that. Chief Keef don't even say much about it. He don't speak much about it. But, you know, he said his little shit like, yo, yeah, like, you know, pop the shit back. So he didn't come out look, looking bad. Boss Top, that thing hurt his whole career. Him doing that to Chief Keith hurt his whole career. So now uh, Durkio said, Durkie said that he gonna um, expose the people that did it, gonna say names in the song. It's gonna hurt them, but at a whole, the whole old block is gonna hurt them. It's gonna make guys not fuck with them. You know, it's gonna, now it's gonna really be hard for them. Even labels, cause it, people not gonna, it, it just look bad. Nobody ain't gonna wanna fuck with them on that level. Like, you know, you may have a high ranking uh, dude that signed, be like, people oh, don't fuck with them snake niggas. Now, cause it all, look what happened. It all circled right back to Keith. Everybody talking about Chief Keith again. It all happened, both interviews. I saw an interview he did with um, The Long Way and one he did with X-Man Rico. And both times Chief Keith name been brought up and it's gonna always be, they did the same thing Chief Keith. She keep us from there. You know, um, it's just a bad look. I think they work too hard. Yeah, a lot of guys just started rapping. They do great numbers. Like uh, Duke did an interview on um, the other day, his first interview. He said his first video, he did think a million views. He ain't do a million because he's talented. He did a million because he's old block. Like, you know what I mean? From the it started and see this the thing where you could see they don't that's why I do like about Take a Pwn. Take a Pwn gives Chief Keith his props. Um also guys like Yella and, and and who from the other side, King Yella, them guys give him the props say, yo, if it wasn't, and that's just the truth. These guys from there know him. You could see them guys in his old videos. It don't take nothing to be like, yeah, he started, he put it on the map, blah, 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 you know, and then, you know, he got the name. I heard him, like I said, I'm an older guy. I heard an old block through him. Yes, it started dying down, and Vaughn brought it back to life. And not just this Vaughn, just the guys, even the street shit was going on. 
like bloggers, you know, keep oh old, old block got their get back. This before even Vaughn came home. You know, you follow that uh drill scene with the bloggers or old block, they got they get back oh when T Roy died, uh his brother went crazy. So that kind of kept it they name up to be honest, and then Vaughn came in and just it just took off. But like I said, it's a respect level and it goes to show when people don't have respect for um other other people like that's why with the guy uh trenches news what he said he said if he's around dirk and, and them guys like that he gonna know how to get money you put real niggas around somebody who getting some money you're gonna be all right you have to know how to move you know what i'm saying you 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 have to have a working mentality like i'm gonna put myself in position in case things go left with me and this guy you build relationships he guys bringing you around like, it's ways you can look out for people without always giving money. Just think like this. And this is where, where, where it goes wrong at. Chief Keith is a black disciple, a part of a, a, a gang, right? Now, you saw him prior to that with 600, a lot, all in videos, screaming Blackgate, screaming um, 300. All these old block, all these different people have a tons of different people we, he shook hands and have a relationship with. No way in the world he could take care of everybody. It just can't happen. No rapper, especially if you're dealing that gang life. Now, if you're a rapper and you're living on the block and, and you're on some other type of shit, you probably could help out, you know, a little more. But when you dealing like like that, where it's y'all clicked up with people and, and, and work it and put it together, it, it's going to be impossible. You cannot front street and all that. It's a lot. That's a lot. You know what I mean? You hear people like, oh, he's with us. Oh, I remember he used to do this, that. And people, everybody feel a title. So the thing is, with these people go wrong at, they got to stop that, man. They got to stop. Whatever he could do, you go to him, but fuck it. Get a feature. If you rap, do a feature for him. You do beat your uh, hick of my beat. You know what I mean? If he take you on a roll with him and you start meeting people, like like Fredo Santana. Fredo Santana, what he do? Fredo sat there and started his own shit. He built his own relationships with other people, with Drake and all these different people when, who Keith had around him, who Keith wrote, Gucci Man, all these people he rough soldiers with. He met them, broke bread with all of them, and be like, I'm starting my own shit. That's how you have to do it. Because no grown man going to be able to take care of grown man forever. You have to start figuring out your way. The minute somebody make it and they pull me in, I'm already uh, thinking of, of ways how I'm keep keep up. And the man respect you after that. He going to respect you. This is how you keep things going. I don't even meant for this video to be too long, but I need you guys. That's just, just a learning lesson, man. And, and my thing is I think that it's, it's over for Old Block now. I think it's over. I don't see nobody getting signed from them. They got to just have a hit and shit to have to take off. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe. Let's run the numbers up, man. Peace.